Hi everyone! In this video, we're going to show you how to edit the columns in the output of our SOM table connectors and save this new layout. As an example, we're going to use the Zendesk connector to export all the articles of our knowledge base in order to perform a content audit and see how fresh our articles are. First, let's open the Zendesk connector. We want to export articles and we'll just click Edit Columns to display the window in which we can actually customize the output. Now there are many columns, so I'm going to deselect everything and I'll just pick the columns that I want. So for my content audit, I'm going to need the title Colin. And I also want some dates, like the creation date and the last time the content was updated. There you go. I'm, I also need a link to my article on Zendesk. So I'll search for URLs and I can see that there are two columns that may match my need. So I'm going to display them to see what their content is. In the first column, the preview on cropped content allows me to see that this is a link to the JSON file. I don't want that, so I can just remove this column. I'll just click on it to see where it is in the sidebar and deselect it. In the second column, I can see this is the link that I want. So I'll just rename it because I call this the article link. Last thing I want to do is to see the titles first. So I'll move the title column to the left. And there you go, this is the layout that I want. So I'm going to apply changes to save my layout along with the request and run the request to get the final results. We have exported a list of articles with the creation date, the last update date, so we can start our content audit and see which articles need to be updated or even removed from our knowledge base. Thanks for watching.